So yes, it's been a very long time since I've done this and we are back at another zoo. It's a Sunday. It's a day out at the zoo. This is the day outs that were meant to be on a Sunday. So join me while we actually look around this new zoo that is on the Steam Workshop and the one that I'm obviously visiting today. So this is called Cat Country. It is a full zoo and it's done by Raven Scar Gaming. Um, he built this uh, and he's, he's, he's got, it is obviously just all cats, so that's all it actually specifies. So um, it does help towards the actual, uh, the cat sanctuaries. Um, it gives them, you know, a bit of a life, you know, the breeding program and stuff like that. So it's all, it's all about wildlife. We, we will bring building massive habitats for each animal. So the animals that we're going to see today are Bengal tigers, cheetah, clouded leopard, frogs, jaguars, Siberian tigers, snow leopard, and West African lions and more. So let's join and see what this is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to cat country. Right, so we've got a nice opening area here. As always on this, I will actually be the person walking around. I will be actually the same sort of level as much as I can to start with. And then we shall see it. We put a drone up in the air and we see the park from above. So this is the first bit to see. It looks really lovely. I love the brass and the gold sections here. So this I do like that. Got some maps over there. So let's go in and have a look. Welcome. No. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So we're having a little around. We've got a gift shop over to the right hand side. That looks absolutely wonderful, that does. Uh, let's go and have a look and see what's in it. Oh, lovely stuff in here. Hello, mate. How are you? Just having a quick look. He's very happy with himself, isn't he, look? See, there's an em employee that's really happy. He obviously gets paid so much well. Always going home soon. It's one or the other. Yeah, don't smile. Hello, how are you? So, yeah, this is the gift shop. This looks absolutely wonderful. So, you've got the info booth here. So, that is that. And over the other side, let's just go over there. He's sort of having a bit of a jiggle. Not sure what's going on with him. Let's just sort of... Save him while we can. There you go, that's sorted. He should be able to move now. No, he's, 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 on, a, he's on a strop. So, exhibit. So, here we go. We've got some different little bits here. We've got a killer monster. We've got a red eye frog. There's a frog there. You can see it there, all happy and enjoying himself. And then we've got the poison frog over here. So I can't see it at the moment. Doesn't mean it's not in there, though. It's just because I'm blind. Mind you, it is green, so it's going to be quite hard to see, to be fair. Um, and what's this one? This is a blue tongue lizard. There he is. He joined himself there. There's another one there. So that, that is the main area on here. Very nice. Now looking up, you've got the lights and the shades of that. It's nice, really nice. He still hasn't moved, he's still got a strop on. Right, so let's go to the main zoo itself. So, obviously from the actual information bit, we've actually come into some lovely sort of cafe and restaurant shop area. Very beautiful this is. So we've got this, a lot of staff that seem to be having troubles moving about. That looks like it's good. Needs to feed a thing. Can we pick them up? Hang on. 
let's just pick him up if we can. I can't remember how you do it, actually, to be fair. Move. There you go. No, he just wants to go in there. Because she's... No, there he goes. He's running now. Look, he's late. Right, so this is a nice area. So we've got some shops around here. Got some more shops over there. Order there and pick up over there. It's nice, nice. And then we get into this open area here. It's quite a nice spacious area around here. It, it, it does look absolutely uh, wonderful. I'm going with the old African sort of look. So we go straight down to here. And this is where our first animal that we actually see is a leopard. Uh, that's a star parking, so we won't go down there. Star path only. So this is the leopard area. So I imagine that they are going to be in there. Information on them there. Come down to the bottom, we've got some little sack wheat over here. And there is one of them standing over there. As you can see, it's quite a nice area. It's quite easy and accessible for visitors to actually have a look itself. Really nicely done as well. Really a lot of detail put into this. A thought in the detail of the customer. Um, yeah, there's one there in the water enjoying itself and over there. But actually, to be fair, look like they need to be picked up by the looks. Looks like they're stuck in the thingy. They might not be, but while we're here, we shall help them out. Right. That's them there. Nice, nice area form. Big, very nice habitat. So, let's come out of this bit. And we shall carry on with our walk. And then we've got to the actual tigers. Or oh, jaguars, sorry, not tigers. There they are over there. Again, lovely area for the viewing point for people to actually have a look and watch their favourite animal eat blood so that is absolutely wonderful as always alright so as we've got here lions in the middle there's one there Got a lion bit in here, so it seems to be that the lions take centre stage. Oh, we've got some fountains here. And we've got Tundra House. This is nice. Beautiful day for it as well. But while we're here, we're, we're going to have a look at the um, the lions. Is this just a bridge over them? Yes, it is. You've got one side, and then you'll have another. Actually, it's, it's, it's very well designed, actually. Very nice, because that's where the restaurant bit is, and we went along that way. So, actually, it is, it is quite nice, actually. I like that. So, Tundra House. This is where the snow leopards are. So, obviously, it's going to be cold inside. Again, nicely decorated. Lovely plants. Plants are really nice, bright, and vibrant. I like that. That's, that's good. So... Let's go into the snow world. Snow leopards. They're actually in a room themselves. So that's actually quite... I like that. That's, that's quite a good idea. I've never actually seen that before. And obviously you've got screens here that will obviously play videos, I'd imagine. It looks like it goes outside. Tundra House. This is all the information on it. To the main entrance to get in and out. Superior Tigers. I 
There's its other area. Obviously, they're joined by the two. I like that design. Looks really good. And you've got a video going on up there. As you can hear the sound. Staff seem to be getting stuck a lot here, yeah, to be fair. Right. And then you come out of there. That's really good. I like that. I like how they've, they've actually put that together like that. Um, no, that's staff only. So we make our way down the bottom. Again, you've got the lines that are actually taking centre stage. It's very quiet today. We have got VIP access, so that's the reason why there isn't any customers here apart from ourselves. So, oh, hang on, there's the sign there, cheaters. So this is the cheater area. Obviously, this must be just one round circle. And then you can overlook the cheaters from up here. Really nicely calm, very nicely decorated again. Does look absolutely wonderful, this does. So I'm having a good day, I'm having a good day today, I must admit. It's, 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 it's very exciting when you obviously you come here and you see people's detail and stuff and what they've done. Um, you know, once upon a time this was just like a grass desert land and nothing was here. And then obviously uh, Raven Skull Gaming has come along. Um, he's developed it from nothing. Um, and it is part of the Sanctuary series collection. So I will put a link in the description below. Every Sunday I'm aiming, if we've got enough money, I'm saving to go up to every different zoo every Sunday. Um, and it is going to be a zoo series every Sunday. Oh, I've got meat hanging there that he's put up. He's just putting it over there. He's desperate for it. He can't get it. Oh, he just got jumped on. Right, so this is this is nice. So yeah, every Sunday we can if we if we can. Obviously, it costs a lot to get into zoos. Um, I will tell you the price on. Let's 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 play a little game. How much do you think you charge to get into this zoo? So we do this every time. I've paid to get in. So you tell me how much you think I've paid to get into this zoo, and we'll see if you're right or not. So we've just come out of there, we've gone into there, so we are coming along here. Remember this is only cats, so this is the only habitats it's got. Going along in the future, it might add more animals, but at the moment it is just cats and that's all it is. And to be fair, it is absolutely beautifully done. Very beautifully done. That, I would imagine, is star parking. Yeah, you've got three staff area there that looks absolutely wonderful again. Bengal Tigers. So let's go down here and see the Bengal Tigers. Here we go. Again, beautifully done. Absolutely wonderfully done. This is absolutely it could be getting close to being one of my favourite zoos so far, to be fair. Just the atmosphere of like the customers and what you got is absolutely wonderful. Even though I'm yawning. It's it's because it's so bloody hot out here, that's a that's the problem. Really bloody baking today. Gold pea, we've got some shops there at the end. Let's go along here, it should just be the uh, Bengal Tigers. Oh, hang on, there's a little entrance over here. Is this to see them inside? Yes, it is. Beautiful, and well, that'd be one way, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wow, that looks absolutely great. And then you've got a staff door there. Everyone seems to be doing the Michael Jackson move in this scene. All right, again, absolutely lovely. Love that. So let's get down the stairs. What's that? Is that um, yeah, the staff only. We go round here. Come along in here. Absolutely brilliant. Don't forget. Tell me how much you think. How much to get in? 
you know, we play a little game. You don't need to write it down or anything like that. Just do it into your head. See how much how much do you think I paid to get into this zoo? How much would you price it at? Because we are at the end end of it. So we went around quite quick. We've got lovely shops here, beautiful zoo. Very well laid out. African lion. We'll have a look at this. Obviously that we saw this earlier, but wonderfully, wonderful laid out. So how much do you think it is to get into this zoo? I shall tell you very soon. And then we're back at the entrance, so I will be back in two minutes. I'm going to set the drone up and we will go up to the top of the zoo and see the zoo from up top. I shall see you in two ticks. Welcome back, welcome. Now, obviously I am a blogger doing zoos. Um, I've just set the drone up so we can push this button now and that should take us up. Here we go. So this is from the outside up in the air on drones. Very well detailed zoo. As you can see, it does look absolutely wonderful. That's the snow leopard area, as you can see. And that is basically from the top of the drone. That is what that is. So, how much do you think it is to get into this zoo? How much do you think I paid? How much do you think I paid? Well, I can tell you, to see if you're right, it's three dollars to get into this zoo. That, to be fair, I don't think it's too bad at all. So, but yeah, I don't think that, that's too bad at all. It's three dollars per person, obviously. Um, a family ticket being the same. So, um, it's not a massive zoo, but it is a very good zoo. Out of ten, let's put it down to the waiting, shall we? Let's go straight to the end and see, was it worth me driving over here today, going to the zoo, looking around and paying the fee that they charge to get into the zoo? Well, to be fair, yes, the money is spot on. The entrance fee, I think, is right for this sort of type of zoo. Um, me getting here today, yeah. Depending on where you live, I think it is worth it. You see all the cats all under one roof. Um, that's like jaguars, leopards, African uh, lions, cheetahs, Bengal tigers. One of one of the main bits that you would expect. But this zoo, I believe, is absolutely brilliant. It's Cat Country Zoo. Thank you for joining me today. I will be back with you. Um, and I shall see you next Sunday, where we showcase, and I will drive to another zoo and visit them until next time guys thanks for joining me i shall see you when i see you back in a zoo thanks for joining me and i shall see you soon